this episode shows the first part of our 4,000 mile passage from Panama to the Gambia Islands, which are a remote part of French Polynesia. We really appreciate a like. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell so you see our videos when they're posted about every two weeks. In the previous episodes, we described crossing the Panama Canal in quite a bit of detail. Then we also show a trip to Burbayar Lodge, where we explored the jungles of the San Blas Mountain. Before heading off to the Pacific, the last thing to do is to go to the farmer's market to get fresh fruit and vegetables, and our friends from Panama, Matthias and Mercedes, drove us and the crew from two other boats to the market. How fabulous was that? With the boat loaded with fresh fruits and vegetables, we set off at the same time as two canoes and Plum 3. On BioTrack was Robert, who crossed the Atlantic with us, and you'll see on our Atlantic crossing video, and our new crew, Mia. Absolutely perfect. The dream sailing. The current wind speed is 10 knots. We're doing 10.2 knots. It's just perfect. And the seas are flat. I'm gonna fly the whole deal all night. <laughs> a beautiful sunset, and we had a peaceful sail that night. The next morning, Mia, our new crew, had to learn how to fish very quickly when we got three fish on all at the same time. Lisa, is this bad? Is this matter? I feel like it's falling up, you know? Like I'm not, I'm left-handed, so I can't get yeah, it. And you can just push it over with your thumb. We got three fish on. It was pandemonium as it tried to run between the three rods all at the same time. And I better get to my rod. Um, my shoes. Ah. <laughs> shoes. All right, should we pull this one on deck or wait? Hold on a sec. All right, I'm bringing him on deck. Hold on a sec. I gotta film it. Hold on. <laughs> Come on, lady. <laughs> okay, hold on, Ben. Mommy. It's a tuna. and the first day it's fish cakes. Oh, hi babies. Oh, I left open. Huh? Woo, first, first sighting on our dolphin. Oh, fine fish, good killer. This is so fantastic. This is the best. It's a perfect day out here. Hey killer, did dolphins. you see those dolphins? Don't bump me, Tiller. Don't bump me. So this is night to sunset. Sun's gone behind the clouds, but it's still very pretty. 
We just this very minute turned on the motor. There's no wind at all. I can hear the sail flapping. We were at uh, three knots, a little too slow. Where's our Capitan? Sit down for your beautiful lunch. I'm surrounded by beauty. Yes, you are. <laughs> what do you have here, Lisa? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> mm? They caught me chewing. Sushi. Lisa has prepared a beautiful lunch for us. As we had motor along. Later that day, the BNG went dark. It just wouldn't work, so out came the tools. The BNG is the navigation system we use at the helm station. We have our backup time zero inside the boat, but the BNG is the one that has the radar. We're here in Spring Shores? Yeah. Derek couldn't get it to work, so we did almost the entire 4,000 miles without a PNG and without radar. That would haunt us towards the end of the trip. Third night out, I'm on night watch. We're working on GMT, so universal time. It's 10.19 in the morning, universal time. That's about 5 a.m. No, that's 4 a.m. and daylight savings time on the East Coast. We're about halfway towards Galapagos. Towards. So the route in green is the route from predict wind. You can see our course in red. We're not stopping in Galapagos. We didn't go to Galapagos, but it seems that Galapagos came to us. These are red-footed boobies from Galapagos, and they fly hundreds of miles into the sea. They are well adapted for diving, but prefer to pick up flying fish from the air. They like to ride along with us until they saw a school of flying fish and they take off and go after them. The equator is a big deal, and everyone knows you must celebrate King Neptune. Yeah. Yep. How many we're, minutes? We're at we're two miles. We're at two degrees north. We got about 16 minutes. All right. And so we cross the equator. We have a beautiful evening. Nice big moon. Clear skies. Absolutely sure, perfect night. Moon. Huh? Full moon. Is it full moon? I think almost it's full, full. Almost full. Big moon. Okay, Robert may look a little silly, but it was agreed that the men would dress as women and the women dress as men as we crossed the equator. But Pierre didn't get up and Robert got up only because it was his watch and was too tired to put on the clothes, so we put them on for him. We have Karen and right there. Equator. 
transmission from our weather brooder and it's right on. We had the full moon when there was no wind, and by day five the winds came back as the moon began to wander. Here's the predicted win at 1930 UTC. Saga, Biotech, Pum, and Impossible. These are the boats that are going to Gambier. Most of the other boats are still in Galapagos. And then we have Manica here and Great Circle that looks like they've just reached Panama. the South Pacific will continue in the next video. The great conditions will not continue and we're going to come across some stormy seas. Well, we tried to fly the drone and get a great picture, but we forgot to take it off the mode that limits the range. So it stayed behind and was lost at sea. See you in our next episode.